The market structures plus zigzag indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can access the indicator on the TradingView website. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how this indicator works and how to use it. To access this indicator on the TradingView website, we search for the name of the indicator in the Indicators section and by selecting the indicator, we apply it to the chart. For faster and easier access to this indicator, add it to your indicators by activating the Add to Favorites option. Once the indicator is applied, it starts searching for and drawing market structures on the price chart. The Market Structure plus Digit Indicator is a handy tool suitable for ICT-style traders and traders who are looking to identify Saudi and New Zealand patterns in the market. Here, we see a major change of character formed. Previously, the price was making higher highs and higher lows, forming an uptrend. Breaking this low, a major change of character is created for us. Then, a pullback up and return down, forming a primary break of structure, BOS. Then, the price makes lower highs and lows, creating multiple major BOS. Again, the price moves up, breaking the major BOS level, identifying a major change of character. This indicator shows traders bullish and bearish trends, helping identify change of character and break of structure. In settings under inputs, options are available. First, adjust the zigzag pivot period. Default is 5. Higher values identify long-term pivots. Lower values identify short-term pivots. Next, enable or disable zigzag lines display. Again, we see that the price has moved upwards here, breaking the major boss level, which identifies a major change of character for us. This indicator easily shows traders the bullish and bearish trends, allowing them to easily identify change of character and break of structure in the market. In the settings section under inputs, there are options available for us. In the first section, you can adjust the pivot period for the zigzag, which is set to 5 by default. The higher the value, the more it identifies long-term trend pivots, and the lower the value, the more it identifies short-term trend pivots. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of zigzag lines. By default, it is set to show. In the following section, you can choose the style of the zigzag, which can be set to solid, dotted, or dashed. It identifies longer-term trend pivots, and the lower the value, the more it identifies shorter-term trend pivots. Next, enable or disable zigzag lines display. Default is show. Then, choose zigzag style, solid, dotted, or dashed. Finally, select zigzag color. By default, you can choose the style of the zigzag in the next section, which can be set to solid, dotted, or dashed. In the next section, you can choose the color of the zigzag lines. You can change the size of the zigzag lines. You can also enable or disable the labels for the zigzag lines, which I will activate here. Use zigzag lines to mark lower highs, lows as MM, toggle break of structure. Identify the main and minor lower highs and lower lows here, where the main lower highs and significant levels are displayed with a capital M and the minor ones with a lowercase m. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the main break of structure. You can choose the type of drawing. You can change its color. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the main downward break of structure lines. Change the style of these lines and change their color. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the minor break of structure lines, which is disabled by default. You can choose its style. You can choose its color. You can enable or disable minor downward break of structure. You can adjust lines, change their color, and you can enable or disable main bullish change of character. You can choose its style. 
adjust line styles and colors, enable or disable the main bullish change of character line, similarly, manage the main bearish change of character line, finally, toggle the minor bullish and bearish change of character lines. Select style, change color, and toggle display for major and minor change of character. You can enable or disable the display or not of the main Nozoli character change off, which is enabled, select its style, change its color, and finally, you can enable or disable the display or not of the Saudi and Nozoli secondary character change off. You can choose the type of line, and finally, you can change its color. Well friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would love for you to share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.